In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to move on to the analysis and design portion of your workflow. When you're ready to start adding analysis and design commands, you're going to go to your workflow page control area and select either the analysis or design tabs. Now all of the icons that are relevant for analysis and design are lumped together on the analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar. Let's first start with analysis. Now when we select the analysis page, the analysis whole structure dialog will appear in the data area, just as it had in STAD Pro V8i. If we would like to add an analysis command to our input file, we're going to come down here and click on our define commands button, which will give us access to the various analysis commands available in STAD Pro, including a linear elastic analysis, a p-delta analysis, and also a direct analysis method. This will also provide us access to the change command. Now at times you may be interested in adding some of the pre-analysis or post-analysis commands to your input file, which can help control the analysis and also add information to your output file. To access those different areas, we're going to come up to your analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar and select the appropriate icon. Here we'll go ahead and select the pre-analysis commands option and then you're going to notice that the pre-analysis print dialog is going to become available and we can come down here to define our commands. The same type of workflow would work for the post-analysis commands option. Now if you need to add some other additional miscellaneous commands to your input file relevant to the analysis, you're going to come to the miscellaneous commands area. This basically represents the commands that were available through the commands menu bar item in STAD Pro V8i. It'll include such items such as your set and L command, your cutoff mode shape, and also your cutoff time commands. Now when you're ready to move on to the design phase, we're going to go to the design tab in the workflow page control area. And you're going to notice that your steel design dialog appears automatically. If you would like to switch to concrete or aluminum design, we're going to come up and select the appropriate items within the analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar. And you're going to notice that your dialog is going to be changed for you. Let's go back to the steel area. Now within each one of these design dialogs, you're going to notice that your select parameters, your define parameters, and your command buttons are still available and the functionality in these areas are exactly the same as they were in STAD Pro V8i as we can see here. Now as part of STAD Pro Connect Edition we also did include some newer or more updated design codes so please go ahead and check out the design codes that are available through the steel design or concrete design workflows. Now before we go ahead and perform an analysis, there's one last tab we should take a look at in the ribbon toolbar, which is the utilities tab. There are several tools here that might make it easier for you to add information to your model or interrogate your model. The first thing we're going to do is check out our geometry tools. Here within the beams or nodes tools, you're going to find different tools that's going to help you in your model generation. For example, I can search for overlapping collinear beams. I can come up here and I can search for orphan nodes as well. Perhaps I want to turn on my node to node distances. I can turn that icon on and I can go ahead and take a measurement. I can turn it off by clicking on the remove option. Another key feature that has been retained from STAD Pro V8i to STAD Pro Connect Edition is your input file. To access your input file, you can go to your utilities tab in your ribbon toolbar and click on your command file. And here we're going to find our STAD Pro editor. It's all organized well for me and I can go ahead and jump to different areas. The STAD Pro Editor also includes the new ribbon interface, which will make it easier for you to, say, turn a particular section into a comment, for, comment, for example, or to uncomment them. It can also help you add some information 
to your model because it does contain all the smart text tools. Now, once we are done adding information to our model, we're ready to go ahead and perform an analysis. To perform an analysis, we're going to go to the Analysis and Design tab in your ribbon toolbar and click your Run Analysis icon. And then the analysis is going to proceed just as it would have in STAD Pro V8i. Now, as a reminder, things like your STAD Pro editor and your Run Analysis commands can be added to your Quick Access Toolbar to provide you with some quicker access to these areas. Now, once the analysis is done, we still have our three main areas we can visit. We can go directly to the output file, we can go to the post-processing mode, or we can stay in the modeling mode. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this dialog. I'm going to stay in the modeling mode. And let me just also make sure you know how to access those areas if you did not have that dialog up on your screen at this time. If I wanted to go to the output file, I can go to the Utilities tab in my ribbon toolbar and click on the Analysis Output icon, which will bring me right to my output file. If I wanted to proceed to the Post Processor, I'm going to go to my Workflow panel at the left-hand side, and I can go and select my Post Processing.